he's he's driving the ship. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, the two, three classroom at University's primary school sent us some awesome questions to ask people on the ship. And I'm here again with Chief Mate PJ, and I'm gonna read him some of your questions and see if he has the answers. Of course. He, he knows everything, so I'm, I'm feeling confident. Okay, so we did the hospital segment where you showed us around the ship hospital and you talked to us a little bit about what you guys can do on board. And there were some questions that came out of that. So one of the first one was, um, what if you get sick? Well, that's a good question. Um, so far, I haven't gotten sick yet, and I've been to sea 14 years, and it just hasn't happened. Um, there are some other medical personnel on board that help me out sometimes on big cases, um, and and I have confidence in them to take care of me. Um, <laughs> but it hasn't happened yet, and hasn't so I'm crossing yet. my fingers. <laughs> so, what what are your tips for staying healthy? Oh, know? drink lots of water and uh, keep your fingers out of the door jams and doors. <laughs> and wash your hands a lot, probably. Yeah, wash right. your hands a lot. Um, my uh, my big tip is wear rubber gloves when dealing with sick people and uh, and. Uh, yeah. yeah. And a mask. You said sometimes uh, yeah. you wear a mask. Sometimes yeah. if they're doing the cold and flu thing, definitely like mask. So the another question was: Is there an X-ray machine on the ship? No. Yeah. So when you broke your finger. You, you didn't x-ray it? No, I did, but I broke it in a place that had an x-ray machine. Okay, so you got <laughs> off the ship and, and x-rayed it. Okay, um, another question is, can you get a helicopter to remove someone who's sick from usually, the Usually, yes, you can, um, and usually we're within helicopter range. Uh, good, good rule of thumb, you know, there's lots of different helicopters, but a good rule of thumb is 200 miles from wherever the airport is. Um, if you can get the sick person within that, they could probably get a helicopter to you and you know, off. But not necessarily the safest way to get someone off a ship. No, no. Helicopter operations are very inherently dangerous. And, uh, yeah, not something that's very preferred. But in a big emergency where you have to go, yeah. Yeah. You can do it. So our recent emergency, we just sailed in because it was a little safer and we had maybe a little time to do that. Right. Okay. Right. Um, let's see. So another question was, how many people can fit in a lifeboat? Oh, uh, Wait, we, do we? We don't have lifeboats, That's though. right. You're right. We don't have lifeboats. Uh, we have life rafts. Um, and the gig is uh, we have four sets on each side that makes eight life rafts and they're both they're each 25 people each so you can get you know about a hundred or so people off on each side so we're talking 200 so there's a lot of capacity for people we only carry 50 people on board yeah so. there are only 50 of us <laughs> so 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 the, the deal is is uh, you don't want to pull a Titanic where they didn't have enough lifeboats um, at the same time, you want to make sure you have enough lifeboats on one side of the vessel in case you lose the, the lifeboats other side. on the other side. So, and you keep them separated so if there's any damage to the ship, you can actually get one side off versus the other. Yep. And there you go. So yeah, so again, Chief Mate PJ keeping us very safe. It's awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> hey everybody! I'm here with the second mate, Max, and she's going to answer some of your questions. But first, I wanted to ask her how long she's been a mate at Hui, and what does it mean to be a second mate? Uh, I've been at Hui for coming on three years this November, actually. And second mate is the third in line from the captain, so it goes master, who's on the top. Then it's the chief mate. The chief mate is in charge of the deck gang, um, primarily deck work. And then the second mate is in charge of navigation, so I'm in charge of plotting our voyages and watching weather and things of that nature. And then the third mate does the safety on board the ship, so fire extinguishers, life rafts, things of that sort. Okay, sort of, yeah. okay, that's why I keep sending you all of our waypoints. Yes. Because you're navigating. Yeah, that's where I, I put it in the computer and we decide where we're gonna go. That's awesome. Yeah. All right, and then the other thing I wanted to ask you, and you guys may see some of the video of Max, she swims when they deploy Alvin. And yeah. I was wondering, how did you get involved with that? That's really amazing. Um, we have it when you're on the ship for a certain amount of time, you start your training. So you can either do Avon first or swimming, and I started with swimming. It's been two years now, I think. Um, and if you are someone that's on the ship pretty regularly, you can qualify. So all the Alvin guys need to get it done. Um, the mates and the deck gang can do it. And then like Allison, who is the SSSGs, the science techs are allowed to do it as well. Um, and even Carl, our cook, is, or our steward, I'm sorry, uh, <laughs> swims. So anyone that's on the ship, apart from the engineers, are qualified to swim if That's awesome. To. Is it as fun as it looks? It is fun. It's nice. It's a nice reprieve. It's always good to get into the water because you're not allowed to do it very much. Yeah, so we don't get to swim. Unique, unique thing. 
All right, so the, the couple of questions that I chose from the list for Max to answer are heavily involving helicopters. So it seems <laughs> you guys really are interested in helicopters. So the first one was, can a helicopter land on the boat? Um, I would say no. Uh, if we have... There would be space. It would probably be right here, unless there was no vans or anything. But you would want a flat deck that would be able to uh, house the helicopter, and we just don't have the space. Particularly when we have science aboard, because everyone brings their own yeah, science we're, gear. We're it's taking up all the space. Um, so if we do need a helicopter, which would happen if we needed a medical evac, they most likely will come over us at some point and send someone down and then decide how to proceed from there. But they would most likely not land. So not a basket, like send a basket or yeah, something. Yeah, like a litter or a basket. Do that type of thing. Then the other question you guys had was, if we run out of, a, of supplies, would a helicopter bring them to us? <laughs> I think if someone was willing to pay for that, they would, but uh, I've never seen it happen. Are we going to run out of supplies? I hope not. No, we should be fine. The ship can actually hold 60 days worth of things, um, oh. food, uh, laundry, detergent, things of that nature. So we, we should be good because we're under that. Okay, so yeah. right now we're only out for 30 days and we have basically double the amount of stuff. Pretty much, yeah. We're good We're good for a while and if everyone likes, uh, you know, cookies and chips and things of that nature, I think we'll be good for a long time. We're out of Oreos, though. Are we? Yeah. I don't think we are. I just don't think it's <gasps> unstocked. We might not be out of Oreos. Oh, I need to check that out. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Thank you so much, Max. Yeah, have a great morning. Bye, Bye guys. <laughs> Trish, I'm here with Captain Al. Oh, no, you got me on video. Uh oh. Yeah, he's driving the ship. He's the most important person on the ship. We have to be very uh, nice I don't to know him. About the most important, but, uh, at least one person on the ship. <laughs> <laughs> most important person. Uh, second to lamb chop. Second to to lamb chop. <laughs> lamb chops yeah, driving the ship. <laughs> it's to go on exactly. <laughs> Is this to say don't, you know, or... It's to go on here to say track going down. It's to remind you before you take oh. off.